Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me today I have Mike. Mike is 65 years old, and uh, I want to thank Mike first of all for uh, allowing us to videotape him. Uh, we have an interesting presentation today. Mike comes in with a, um, how long has this been going on for? A year and a half, two years. Yeah, history, and he has a history of lung cancer. He's been treated for that, but recently has been having this pain in his axillary region, brachial area. Loss of sensation in the axilla, loss of sensation down in the uh, uh, mid part of the brachium, a little bit of loss of sensation on the outside of the arm also, but he has no discomfort or distal issues whatsoever past the elbow. Um, he's not having any neck pain, he's not having any problems swallowing, he's had no weight loss, um, no uh, loss of balance bowel and bladder are fine and so in evaluating this discomfort that he has here we did notice a couple things um, and so one of the things is that he is hyper reflexive okay so I'm going to look at C7 you can see the whole arm really jumps when we do that C5 and C6 so he's hyper reflexive, he's hyper reflexive on both sides. Not so hyper reflexive on the lower extremities, and he does not have clonus in the lower extremities. Um, next thing I wanted to show you is that he actually has pretty good range of motion. So lift those arms right up and back down, and that doesn't hurt too much. Nope. About up to the side. Good. Up over the top, bring your hands together, good, and back down. Good. And I'm going to have you put your arms down, and I'm going to have you look to the left, and look to the right, and look straight ahead. Bring your chin down to your chest. And look up toward the ceiling and he's a little bit snug going up to, into extension it does give him a little bit of discomfort um, go ahead and relax when I tractioned his neck he had a little relief of discomfort in here but just a little bit of relief but one of the other findings is that he has a positive Hoffman sign now this is very subtle um, a while ago it popped out really well but once you do them over and over it seems like they uh, become a little bit less so what we do is we take that middle finger we hold it nice and steady and then we give it a really big flick did you see how that index finger flexed and even the thumb has flexed but it's a little hard from that angle to notice that but that's a positive Hoffman sign which he has on both sides um, so our, and, and when we test his rotator cuff, he really doesn't have any signs of a rotator cuff tear. He has good integrity of his biceps. He has no distal weakness, except for a little bit of intrinsic weakness on this side, but he's had surgery on that hand. Um, so I'm not quite concerned that this is a cervical herniated disc causing this pain. Um, you can have anterior chest pain and axillary discomfort from a herniated disc in the neck, so always remember that. But we can't really relieve him significantly when we traction his neck. So I'm concerned that um, he has something else going on here. His brachium is quite tender to touch uh, over here. So we want to get um, you know, some diagnostic testing on him to make sure that uh, his cancer hasn't actually spread into his arm or something like that. Um, we'll be communicating with his doctor about this and um, you know, hopefully uh, getting to a better diagnosis. So we're not going to treat him in therapy right now because we don't feel 100% positive about our diagnosis. And there is nothing wrong with doing that. Going back to the doctor, having some communication, and uh, trying to uh, come down to a, a conclusion on the diagnosis. So if you have any questions, uh, get in touch with me. Um, through uh, the YouTube channel or go to orthoevalpal.com and you can uh, place comments into the uh, comment section there. I uh, appreciate your time and Mike, thank you so much for participating. Very welcome, thank you. Thanks.